Um, okay, so uh, JD, another one from the top? Yeah. Let's try one, yeah. I swore I'd never make a Greatest Hits album. And I still haven't. This is the album of songs that could be accurately described as hits that other people had of songs I wrote. I called JD and said, listen, I think you need to revisit your most famous songs in a very stripped down, intimate manner. And people will sort of, for the, in a sense, hear them for the first time. It sounds so familiar. Great expectations. Everybody's watching you. He was extremely obstinate about it. Did not want to do it. I didn't want to sing these songs again. Some of them I've sung 10,000 times. The other ones I've heard 50,000 times. And even your old friends treat you like you're something new. Fred's idea was to do, I presume, something like you'd see if, if you, were, you know, came, came to my house late at night and caught me playing these songs in the middle of the night, which is about as likely as finding me out on a fence post pirouetting. But should such a thing happen, this is kind of the vibe it would be. You look in her eyes, the music begins to play. I think this project is long overdue. You know, there's, his voice is undeniable, these songs are undeniable. And it really resonates quickly on this level. As he plays them, he realizes how important the songs are to him. Somebody told me along the way, if I found a new way to sing them, if I really reinvented them, that I'd enjoy it. That's when I'd start to enjoy it. That's exactly what happened. At the end, I just sort of fell in love with it. A song is for it to live. It has to breathe. It has to change and grow. And it has to have the potential to, to be fluid and to go with wherever, whatever is happening at the moment. When you're not When the world is ready to fall on your little shoulders and when you're feeling lonely and small you need somebody there This is a, an unusual chance to almost set the record straight so people can really hear JD intimately singing the songs that you know the Eagles had done or, or whoever had done when you're People don't always know who wrote the songs. It's kind of funny, I mean, you know, of his music, and then you read a little more, and then you find out, well, boy, he wrote that, and he wrote that, and he wrote that. You're only lonely When you need somebody around On the nights to try Fred uses the word reclaim these songs. I don't feel like I ever gave up any claim on them. I'm grateful that somebody as good as the Eagles recorded them, you know. I think the audience, when they hear his music in a pared down setting from, from the songwriter, especially a songwriter who's got as strong of a vocal presence and musical presence as JD, the true sincerity, it resonates on a different level. Don't you ever be ashamed You're only Hey Chris, do you think it sounds better to do that uh, it rather than it? Let's see. Yeah, go to the A flat minor on the second. The second one. Okay. For the last three years, I've just caught by really old school. We we write all the material, we write the charts, we rehearse the band, we go play gigs, and then we come and play the, the record live. I think that's the way music seems like it ought to be to me. Every song is different. So, you know, for instance, the stuff that Chris plays on, they play these songs live, and we use those arrangements and sort of just embellish them. Certain songs we haven't done before in the studio, uh, and he doesn't play live with different musicians, we're all sort of arranging as we go. 
as in any musical situation, when you're working together closely, the music evolves, your relationship evolves. So these arrangements evolved and grew out of our relationship working together in live situations. And that's what this project is, I think, is a, is a result of that. I can tell you a little bit what the Sad Cafe was, because it actually was something. It was the restaurant next to the Troubadour called Dantana's in Hollywood. And the Troubadour Bar was, was kind of the same group. It was about us. It was about the places that we hung out. Softly falling The tracks that ran down the boulevard That all washed away It's just a song I always really liked. I thought it just made its, its point quietly and gracefully. It's a song that is nostalgic and cynical at the same time. It had all the regret that follows youthful exuberance, you know, the, the agonizing reappraisal of just looking back at a time when we were more naive about uh, how what we did would affect the rest of the world. Maybe in the end it did affect it more than we thought, but uh, at the time it just, you know, there's a very cynical line in it. We thought we could change this world with words like love and freedom. The country had just come out of the 60s, so there was, there was a strong reason to think that things might be changing for the better uh, for people that saw things the way we did. Clearly that's not exactly what's happening. But I always think things are on the ascendant. I'm more than skeptic, but I, if I didn't think things would get appreciably better, I wouldn't even be able to enjoy my skepticism, you know. your fingers on the line and when you walk that way it kills me I'll be here at closing time I just try to like take uh, the songs and do the least possible harm to them <laughs> while trying to stick as close to whatever I think the central nervous system of the song is you could walk away from me, don't do it. I'll be here, closing time. As a producer, what you want to do, especially on this kind of a record, which is a stripped down, very intimate project, is just to make sure that the vocals are, are as captivating, you know, that, that, that they sort of propel you. And luckily, the thing we have with JD that is a, is a blessing is his absolute God-given gift as a singer, because he's really spectacular. I'll be outside with the engine running, pointed at the western sky, looking for a place to lay you down. I don't want to make you cry. Can see us walking I asked Linda Ronstadt what she thought of it, and she said, oh, just, I said, go for it. She said, it's a great time in your life, you're singing well, and just go in and sing them. Just, and then she sent me a little PS, don't try to rewrite those songs. She said, you're singing great, just don't try to rewrite the song, just sing them, you know, the way you sing them. Baby, when you walk that way, it kills me. You don't have to sound like you, like you were sounding when, when you were learning how to play the guitar. But you still want to be that fresh. You still want to open that sliding door to the studio every day, walk out here and wonder what the hell's going to happen. I look up 
the sky is falling The signs of warning are clearly drawn So many of us here 